So I've been thinking. So far, we've been hitting Frank at his extremities. Maybe it's time we go for the heart. I've never been too good with metaphors. Ah, oh, come on, Boston. Think about it. What's Frank's baby? I don't know. You can't be talking about his casino. Ding, ding, ding. You've won an all-expenses-paid trip to the City of Saints Casino Vault. You're kidding. Nope, you're just that lucky. Come on. You want to rob Frank's casino now? Do we even have a plan? I got more than a plan. I got a brilliant plan. So what's this brilliant plan? Well, I have this stripper friend who used to moonlight as a cocktail waitress at the City of Saints Casino. After a few gin and grenadines, she leaked the location of the vault key. How does a cocktail waitress know anything about casino security? Let's just say she had access to some sensitive areas. something because that wouldn't be conspicuous the keys at the other end of the lobby go just where do you think you're going put your hands in the air this is a restricted area the manager should have the key take him out and grab it the key. Nice. <clears throat> Carrie Cantaloupe never lets me down. Your friend's name is Carrie Cantaloupe? You should see her cantaloupes. Let's move. <clears throat> I knew you were worth keeping around. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Now comes the easy part. Let's steal us some money. The easy part, huh? You're under arrest! You think I won't shoot? Okay, so I admit, the plan wasn't perfect. Screw perfect. This was just good old-fashioned fun. In all seriousness, if there was ever a chance things would blow over with Frank and his crew, we just kissed it goodbye. Good. If there's anything I love, it's a fight worth fighting. Vera's lucky to have you. And I'm lucky to have you. I mean, you guys. You know, you're good friends. Thanks. Hey, you should stop by the club later. We'll celebrate. I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. Yo, heard you and Karen took down the casino. Hey, Ronnie. So now you know how it's done. I do it at least twice a month just to mess with the bosses. It's a good time. You should do it some more, too. Hell, maybe we'll bump into each other in a vault at some point. <laughs> yeah, anyway, gotta run. Uh, I'm actually on the air right now. Later. Hey, Vera. Kid, get down to the club. We're throwing a little party in your honor. Really? <laughs> Sounds like you started celebrating without me. Well, then get your butt over here and start catching up.
Now, Mickey the Wallet was this uppity little punk with a stutter, one arm freakishly shorter than the other. So he decides... Yeah, yeah. He... Fuck it, let's drink. Yes. Raise him. What's the matter, kid? Come on, Jason, let's celebrate. You need champagne in your mouth and a couple of perky tits in your face. Forget the skanks that work for me. We're taking you to Sensation, my treat. Nope. False. You're already over budget this week. Huh. Listen to this one, Jason. Karen! We had an arrangement, Vera! Is that you, Frank? You're forcing my hand here! Out of respect for Johnny, I've tried to keep the peace! Hey, Frank! You picked the wrong team, kid! Right? Your dead husband? The one who took you in! That you were too drunk to see! You still believe that story? That I was passed out in the bathroom when Johnny went down? That I was too drunk to drive him to the hospital? Ha! Who do you think ordered the hit, Vera? Yeah, right. Like you had the power to order anything more than a pizza back then. I had the backing of four families, you dumb bitch! I came out of that bathroom that night, and I watched Johnny laying there in a pool of his own blood, choking on eggplant! And I let... Mac does it! Grenades? What the fuck? Jason, grab some nades! Laugh at this goose fucking thing of shit! to remind you that this club represents a significant portion of your income! As your boss, I need to tell you to shut the hell up and throw! with you, Benny? You bumped your fucking head? I need this kid in one piece. It looks fine to me. Look, see? 
He's moaning and stuff. Oh, good. You're right. He's okay. <sighs> Rise and shine, shit heel. I want you to know something, Jason. I am an empathetic soul. Your little thing with Vera's crew, trying to start a little revolution, a little uprising, I don't blame you. You're young and dumb. Hell, I'd be willing to let the whole thing slide if it was just you and me. Unfortunately, if I do that, other guys, they might get the wrong idea. Get to thinking, what's to stop me from making a run at the throne? You know what I mean, Jason? Fuck you, Frank. What? Fuck me? Fuck you! You know where shit! Boys! You cost me big, Jason. So here's what's gonna happen. If you're able to walk out of here, you're gonna work for me. You're gonna work off what you cost me. You're gonna forget Vera Montello and her little gunners. In fact, so am I. As long as you be a good little shit and do what you're told, I'll leave them alone. But fall out of line. Do something I don't like. And they're all dead. And then, you're dead. I didn't knock that guy out on purpose, Frank. Well, he went down. That's all that matters to me. Are we understanding each other? You work for me now, Jason. I own you. Expect to hear from me soon. Yeah. Hey, it's Ronnie. Heard you kicked a lot of ass and took a lot of names in Frank's creepy dungeon. How'd you hear that? I know people. Listen, you ever want to fight like that again? You come see me, okay? Sure. Cool. Toodles! How you feeling, Sunshine? I need you to get over to City Hall. An associate of mine is expecting you. And Jason, remember, no bullshit. you and I had a chat. Sounds fun, but I think you may have a wrong number. I think not, Jason. We need to talk about your brother. My brother died a long time ago. Who the hell is this? Wouldn't you like to know? Just come find me.